This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. You saw in an earlier module how it was possible to use a string parameter to filter out a string field. We did that with the department field in our basic listing report. There is one big disadvantage to using a string in a string field, and that is that the data entered must exactly match the data in the database. So for example, if you didn't know how to spell the department name, you wouldn't be able to get the department field out. You might not be able to spell warehousing, for example, or some of the longer department names. I think there's a research and development one. To help improve that parameter, we could add in the facility to use wildcards. Let's add that in to this report. So we're going to base it on our basic listing report again. Add a new parameter field. So select parameter fields. Right click. New. Parameter needs a name. Call it department. It's a string field. It's static. Instead of enter department, please type in department name and the rest we will leave as the default so that you can only put a unique value in no range no length control okay that adds our parameter field we can then make use of that parameter field in our filter by saying department okay and in our comparison options we can use the is like option that we saw previously and choose our parameter so is like department the only problem is that that does not include any wildcard characters. They're over here, so you know which ones to put, but you can't put them with the department field. If I hide the formula and then show the formula, the formula then appears in the bottom, and it's time to do a little bit of formula editing. If I'm going to allow people to type part of a department name to then pull out any departments that match that part name, then I need to be able to put a wildcard character both at the beginning and at the end of the parameter field. So our formula becomes TBL employees department like a wildcard character, which needs to appear in a double set of speech marks, ampersand. The ampersand acts as a piece of glue sticking that wildcard character to whatever has been typed in the parameter field. And then to the right, another ampersand to effectively glue on another wildcard character again appearing in double set of speech marks to the right hand side of the parameter field so whatever has been supplied into the parameter field by the person running the report it will get effectively double wildcards one on either side attached to it that then gets fed into this select expert so okay i'm then prompted for a bit of text say for example perhaps it's not that i don't know how to spell it but i can't be bothered to spell it all and i just put W8R for shortened version of warehousing and say OK and I get warehousing. Refresh the report, prompt for new values. I know there's a human resources department in there, so I put human, I get the human resource department. So now having the wildcard characters in there makes the parameter a little more user friendly for people who can't spell properly or don't know all the department names correctly. It does open up an avenue of a little more chaos though. If I do a search and put op in to shorten for operations and say OK, I do get all the operations department. However, I also get research and development because development has an OP in it. So you have to be a little bit careful when using wildcards, but it does make it a little bit easier to use for the end user.